Please stand for the pledge. I, I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Hey, what's up? I'm Andrew Price, your vice president. And I'm Ezra Heckman, one of your seventh grade reps. Uh, we will be in the lunchroom tomorrow for first lunch and Thursday for second lunch. Stop by to write notes of gratitude for your teacher. Over to today's Mindful Minute. Despite what you may have heard, meditation does not involve joining a group, paying any fees, wearing any special outfits, sitting in a funny position, or believing in anything in particular. It is simple, secular, scientifically validated exercise for your brain. You don't have to do it yet, but just so you know, here are the three steps. One, sit with your back straight and your eyes closed. Two, notice the feeling of your breath coming in and going out. Pick a spot where it's most prominent. Usually that's your nose or your chest or your belly, and just focus your full attention on the feeling of your breath coming in and going out. Now, as soon as you try to do this, your mind's gonna go nuts. You're gonna start thinking about, what am I gonna have for lunch? Why did I say that dumb thing to my boss? Your brain's gonna go nuts, and that's fine. The whole game is to notice when you've gotten lost and to start over, and then to start over again, and again, and again. Every time you do that, it's like a bicep curl for your brain, and it shows up on the brain scan. Scientists have found this in the lab. It's also, by the way, a radical act. You're breaking a lifetime's habit of walking around in a fog of projection and rumination, and you're actually focusing on what's happening right now. Meditation is unlike anything you do in the rest of your life. Failure is actually success. As I said, the whole game is just trying, failing, starting again, failing, starting again. Here's my advice. You should be meditating every day, five to 10 minutes a day, that's it. This doesn't require some giant investment. I don't care how busy you are, you have five to 10 minutes to give this a shot. I guarantee you it will make a big difference. Attention Wasatch Warriors. Due to the governor's declaration of a state of emergency, all school sports at Wasatch are suspended until further notice. Check in with Coach Snyder for girls basketball and Coach Hamilton for boys basketball after the Thanksgiving break for more details. Hang in there, stay safe, and go Warriors. Over to a video from the counselors. Tuesday, Wasatch. Go Bengals. <laughs> <laughs>